to make all laws which shall be necessary and proper for carrying into execution the foregoing powers and all other powers vested by this Constitution in the government of the United States or in, in any department office, officer thereof. Section 9. The migration or importation of such persons as any of the states now existing shall think proper to admit shall not be prohibited by Congress prior to year 1808, but a tax or duty may be imposed on such importation, not exceeding $10 for each person. The privilege of the right of habeas corpus shall not be suspended unless when in cases of rebellion or invasion, the public safety may require it. No bill of attainer or ex post facto law shall be passed. No Capitation or other direct tax shall be laid unless in proportion to the census or enumeration herein before directed to be taken. No tax or duty shall be laid on articles exported from any state. No preference shall be given by any regulation of commerce or revenue to ports of one state over those of another. Nor shall vessels bound to, bound to or from one state be obligated be obliged to enter, clear, or pay duties in another. No money shall be drawn from the Treasury, but in consequence of appropriations made by law. And a regular statement of account of the receipts and expenditures of all public money shall be published from time to time. <laughs>